Hi, I'm in the Women's Prize for Fiction vibe at the moment. Um, looking at the list, I have already read three of them. I've read Stone Blind, Glory and Marriage Portrait. So, you know, three down, 13 to go on the, on the list. This one, Pod by Lilaine Paul. I finished this one yesterday and I'll be honest, when I first started it, I didn't think it was going to be for me. It's, as it says here, Ea, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's E-A, so I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I'm, I'm going to say Ea. Ea has always felt like an outsider as a spinning dolphin. She's expected to join in the elaborate rituals that unite her pod. So she is a dolphin and we have a book about um, sea creatures, mammals. Um, I've never read The Bees, so I can't compare it to that. I can only look at this one. And having a book that was written from the point of view of a dolphin, I, w I wasn't quite sure about at the beginning, particularly because we have so many other creatures as well. We've got Google, who's a military tra trained uh, dolphin. Um, we've got Rorkel, who's a whale, who's totally alone and is singing his whale song to guide other sea creatures to safety. Um, you've also got a ras, a fugu, and a remora, as well as countless others. So I wasn't sure at the beginning because there were so many characters, but, but, and it is a big but, by the end, I was absolutely spellbound. And I was in tears. It... I didn't think it was going to grab me, but it did. And then it took me with it. Um, you've got all these points of view, but you mainly follow Ea. And she is a dolphin who, because of some something to do with her hearing, she can't hear the music of the ocean. And so she can't, she doesn't feel that she can spin like other members of her tribe, the Longi tribe. And then after a huge tragedy, she leaves and sets out on her own. And what, you follow her story and you follow what happens to her and you also find out what is happening to the oceans. And in the beginning, you are confused. The read, well, I was, as a reader, I was confused because these dolphins are describing what is going on in the oceans and they are trying to make sense of it. And as the reader, because you are looking at it through their eyes, you are trying to make sense of what they're seeing as well. But then as the story develops, you, the reader, understand. You can understand more than the dolphins, more than the characters. And you can see what is happening to the oceans and how these creatures are being killed, maimed. Um, some by the actions of what's going on in the oceans, but some by pure, um, by, by mankind, you know, sort of the, the, the hunts or whatever. And you, you follow Ea and you are rooting for her and you are wanting her to find another tribe, another pod to to go back to her own almost because she is this dolphin on her own and there is brutality in here absolute brutality 
um, as well. And at the end, my heart was breaking. It really was. And the afterword by the author, she tells you what inspired her to write this story. And she also goes on about the meticulous research she carried out so that she could write about these different sea creatures, these different mammals, the, the different types of dolphins, the whales, the lemura. She could show, show them as they are because of the meticulous research that she carried out. When I started this, I didn't think I was going to like it. I really didn't, but in the end, it, it got my heart. So that is number four on the Women's Prize for Long List. Uh, women's Prize for Fiction Long List. Um, I've got some on the order from the library. Some I still can't get hold of, so uh, we'll, we'll see um, whether I can, how I progress, whether I can get them all read before the winner is announced. But even if I don't, I will carry on and um, finish the list. So, that is Pod. Happy reading. Take care.